Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be doing a rubber band ponytail on my hair. I already washed and conditioned my hair and used oils and all that. So this is how it looks when I took it down. First, I'm starting off by parting my hair from ear to ear. And this part doesn't have to be perfect because you can't really see it that well. Uh, my part was a little bit off, but it's gonna be covered up anyways, so. This is the same way I did my other rubber band hairstyle a couple months ago. So if you wanna watch that after this, you can. Now I'm tying out the back section so I can work on the front. And in the front, I did make my middle part off camera. It was really hard to get it centered, so I had to do it off camera. It still wasn't kind of centered, but you know. Um, I'm tying that part up now and I'm working on the other section. I'm spraying this side with water just to add more moisture back into the section. It was feeling really dry. So I went ahead and did that. I'm using my brush and I also use my fingers to detangle. And I'm parting off my first section. Um, I had to use my comb because it was like not, I don't know, I'm using my nail, it would not work. So I had to use my comb. And that's the first section. I'm using my Gorilla Snot Gel and a small brush and I'm brushing that section back. And these are the rubber bands I'm using. It's both black and white. You can use black if you don't want the rubber bands to show. I chose to use white because I wanted them to show, obviously. So yeah, I'm using my brush. I brushed out a little bit of my edges so I'm able to do that at the end. And I'm using my white rubber bands and I'm just going to tie it on that section. And I would say for you to make the rubber band tight when you put it on, I didn't do them tight enough and you'll see towards the end why you need to. Now I'm spraying my hair with water and using my brush to detangle my hair. And I'm doing that for every section when I'm done just so that the hair doesn't get tangled or dried out. And I'm moving on doing the same steps to the rest of my hair. Once I finished that section, I went ahead and moved on to the other side of my hair. Um, I'm tying that other side up so it won't get in the way. And this is what it looks like when I finished. This is what the front looks like all put together. Now I'm tying the front section up and I'm going to work on the back. And for the back, I'm sectioning that off into two. Um, I went ahead and did that so it would be easier to detangle my hair. And I'm using my brush again. I did use some water, but I did that off camera. And I'm just brushing through my hair, getting all any tangles out. I went ahead and I put my hair into a low ponytail just to hold it there so I can put the rest of my hair back into the ponytail. And for this part, I'm also spraying my hair down with water and I'm using my brush to detangle. Um, now this part, like I said earlier, you want to make sure the rubber bands are tight. When I kept trying to brush my hair and pull it back into the ponytail, my rubber bands were slipping off and like almost coming off. Well, not almost coming off, but they were not tight enough on my root and they kept moving around. So that's why you want to make sure that it's going to be tight on your root and so that it just doesn't move. So now anyways, I'm pulling my hair back. This part was really hard 
hard to do. Um, I don't remember what I did in that first rubber band video. It was a little easier because I was just doing a bun. But this part was really hard to do and get my hair back into the ponytail, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I just kept, kept having to um, re-twist my hair to get it back. I don't know. It was hard to do. So you can kind of just watch me um, pull my hair back into the ponytail and yeah. Once I did get it into the ponytail, I'm taking my hair that's left out and I'm uh, detangling it again. It kept getting dry or feeling dry as I was doing this because it took me a while to do it. Um, I put it in the ponytail again and I braided my hair that's left out just so that my, um, when I actually do the ponytail, put the like fake ponytail on, I want my hair to be unseen. I don't like doing the bun because I feel like a bun pokes out more. So I do a braid instead and yeah. So that's what it looks like. Um, this is what the hair looks like and this is the ponytail I'll be using. I didn't like the position of how I had that first ponytail so I went ahead and redid it and put it a little bit higher up. This took me forever to do so I was so tired and like irritated at this point. And now I'm braiding my hair again and putting the hair on again and yeah I liked how this one was positioned a lot more. Now for me putting on the actual ponytail, this is what it looks like, I already showed it. This is one of the ponytails that wraps around, um, like so, you like clip it in your hair and then wrap it around. I do have a video of how I do this um, ponytail or how I use this ponytail on my channel, so if you want to look at that, you can. And yeah, so I went ahead and wrapped it around and that's how it looks. Next I'm moving on to doing my edges, I'm using my edge booster and my small brush. So once I finish my edges, this is how the hairstyle is looking. This is my second time using this ponytail, so the curls were a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit weird. But anyways, this is what the hair looks like. The rubber bands are not bad. Um, it's a little uneven, but it's not horrible. But anyways, this is how it looks. I hope you guys like the hairstyle and everything that I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!